What's up everybody, this is Jeremy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a, um, a cool little uh, Safari add-on. Um, it's called Cosmopod. I'm going to go ahead and bring up Safari real quick. Um, say that you want to check out a YouTube video and download it, something like that. Um, you can see the video here, I've already got it loaded and everything. Uh, this is more than just YouTube, there's pretty much any kind of Flash website or anything like that. Uh, if there's a video on it that you want to get, you can definitely use this application. Just like 1Password, the way it's got the little button up here. Uh, it's the same thing over here. Once the video loads, you'll see this. It turns from like a light gray to a black on the uh, little icon. You click this and it will actually download the video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now. The video that's up, I've already downloaded this earlier because afterwards you convert video. And I'll show you all this in just a second. So what it does is down here in your downloads, this will actually pop up. I'll show you the options and all the different things you can do with this right now. Um, you can show in Finder, which will actually pop up and bring the video up and highlight it for you. You can click here and it will actually play the video. Who says I can't get it's got really nice quality. Um, you can clear this off, which I'm not going to do yet. If you want to add another YouTube video, if you have the URL saved, uh, to your clipboard, just copy and paste right here. It'll start to download that. Then you go into your preferences, it has this cool little animation where it'll actually flip the downloads thing over and, and it's like the preferences are on the other side. It's kind of cool. Okay, see so it flips over. You put where you want to save your downloads to, which I everything I download I have set to download to my downloads folder just because number one, that's what it's for. Number two, if I don't, I'm going to lose most stuff because I'm a really unorganized person. So. You can set how many simultaneous downloads you want to have. It's set uh, by default to three. That's what I leave it at because I'm, I very rarely will do more than one probably. Um, you can specify um, a file name when you save it, or you can have it just do whatever the default is, which is usually I think the name of the video. Uh, I think I didn't even really check that. Let me see here. Yeah, it's the name of the video or whatever the title is that they put. Um, but you can hold down the option key and manually name the file if you want, which is something I haven't tried out just because I all the videos I've done so far I, I don't actually keep. I just uh, go ahead and delete those just to be testing this out. I haven't come across anything I actually want to keep yet, but show address bar when a video is detected, which I think is the uh, thing up here by the address bar, I'm thinking. Uh, I, if it's not that, I really don't know what else that would be. Um, I'm probably missing something really easy, but um, insert Cosmopod contextual item to link menu. Uh, actually, this right here might be what that is. I don't know. I'm not really sure on some of this, to be honest. Uh, play notification sounds after file conversion. Uh, file conversion I will get into in just a second. Actually, I think that might be the next uh, menu. You can buy Cosmopod here, and here's where you will enter your license and uh, registration information. Uh, video, you can click here and it will actually convert files to whichever uh, type that you need. iPod, uh, iPod standard, iPhone, or Apple TV, uh, or you can use the original size. I convert mine to iPhone because that's what I would play them on. Uh, or you can always use original size if you just want to keep it and not convert it at all. Uh, then you can set the vi video codec here, which is basically your uh, quality. By default, I think it's H.264 uh, better. So I think it's right in the middle on default. Um, this right here is not even a preference in 10.6. So Snow Leopard, this isn't even a preference. I'm sure it's something they'll probably update in the future, I'm guessing. But uh, again, here it tells you how many simultaneous uh, conversions that you have, uh, which you're probably going to want to set this to whatever the downloads are. That way, as they download, they all convert at the same time. Um, you can have it automatically detect YouTube HD videos, which I would definitely recommend who wants bad quality. Um, use original video by trait when converting so you don't lose quality on your audio and video there. Um, and then you can trash downloaded files after conversion. Uh, then iTunes, you can have it automatically uh, add the converted files to iTunes if you go over here and set this to iPhone or whatever it is that you want to sync to or iPod. Um, enable extended video tagging after conversion. This will actually pop up another thing after it converts and you can set uh, video tags and stuff. You can use the website domain as an album name in iTunes and you can trash converted files after import. Um, here is where you automatically check for updates. You are on Cosmopod 4.0 right now. 
Um, right now, you get, let me check really quick on the website. Again, I forgot to do this. Um, here we go. Cocomug.com slash Cosmopod is the website. I'll put that in the description over here. Um, Cosmopod is uh, 8 euros, 9 euros. I think it's euros. Pretty sure. <laughs> uh, so it's not that expensive at all. It's actually really cheap. Um, I'm trying to see what your demo is that you get here. Um, I forgot the actual demo, but you get, I think it's uh, 10 days or 15 days or something like that, that you get to use this application or well, add-on uh, before that runs out. But I definitely recommend trying this out, especially if you download videos and want to convert them, or even if you just want to download the videos, period. This is definitely something that you're going to want to check out. Uh, it's definitely a lot easier, a lot more uh, details and more options with this than you get with a lot of the applications that download YouTube videos. So definitely check this out. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this if you try it out. And uh, if you know of any other applications like this that you'd like to see me do a video on, let me know. Thanks.